Good morning, welcome to the Area Securities Markets Update. Beginning with the Asian session, as always, there were three economic releases during the session from China and Australia, which had a notable impact on the markets. Beginning with China, the non-manufacturing PMI improved to 54.4 in August, up from 54.2 in July, which is the first increase after two months of consecutive declines. The HSBC Services PMI as well also improved uh, to 54.1 in August, up from 50, which is also the highest reading since April of last year. In Australia, the growth rate came in much or better than expected, but failed to support the Aussie as the US dollar rallies continues. The economy grew by 0.5% in the second quarter of this year, comparing to a growth rate of 1.1 in the first quarter, which had been also, or had, while it had been anticipated to grow by 0.4% only. Going forward to the uh, European session ahead, there are a of economic releases today and all eyes will be headed toward the services PMIs data from Spain, Germany, France, Italy, the Eurozone and the UK which likely to come in with another weaker outcomes in August comparing to the data in July. Furthermore, the Eurozone retail sales may also decline by 0.3% in July comparing to a rise of 0.4% in June which would be also the first decline since February of this year. As for, the Asian, or as for the U.S. session today, the Bank of Canada is expected to keep the current policy unchanged, leaving the overnight rate at 1%. And finally, in the U.S., the factory orders may rise by 10.9% in July, comparing to a rise of 1.1% in June, which would be also the biggest monthly increase since 14 years. This is it for today. You can follow us on all social media sites, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube to get the latest economic releases, reports, and analysis. Thank you for watching.